Hello and welcome to Dynamic Arrays 2. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. This is the second in a three-part series that is unpacking this Dynamic Arrays capability of Excel. So what we want to do here is return a list of the unique values in the account column. So once again, we're going to use the unique function to return a unique list of the values in this range. Close the function and hit enter. And now we have that unique list of accounts. What if we want to get a subtotal? Um, what we can do for this is to use the sumifs function. So the, what the sumifs function does is it adds up a column of numbers. So I select the column of numbers I want to add, comma, but it's conditional. So it only includes certain rows. It only includes those rows where the account column, comma, is equal to our account. And I close the function and hit enter, and it calculates the correct result. So travel and travel is 615, so that looks good. But this is not a dynamic array, so this does not automatically spill down. But what we can do is reference the spill range. And we do that by using the spill operator. And that is a pound or hash. So if we change B8 and add the pound or hash and hit enter, now we get this formula to spill. And this is great because it is dynamic. So next period, if we have 10018, internet of 500, that's automatically included in our report. Okay, cool. Hey, we'll see you in part three. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.